ningependa kusema ili Kenya ikuje ibadilike ili hii Kenya ikuje ibadilike ni lazima sisi wananchi wa chini tuweka ukabila kando ni lazima tuweka ukabila kando tuungane tukue kitu kimoja kwa sababu saa hii as we speak usifikiri wakalenjini wale wa chini wanagusikia utamu kwa serikali wale wakalenjini wa chini wameumia mtu amepuna mahindi yake gunia elfu moja hana mahali pa kupeleka imejaa tu kwa nyumba waliharibiwa biashara ya mahindi kwa sababu gani kwa sababu mahindi inakuwa exported kutoka nje inajazwa kwa serial sports hapa Kenya mkalenjini wa chini hawezi kupanda mahindi na haiwezi kumfaidi kwa hivyo wananchi wa chini tuungane tumeambiwa kashekwa akienda ufisadi itaisha Kenya yani mwanzo ufisadi Kenya nikashekwa na mwisho ufisadi nikashekwa wacha aende ufisadi ishe tumeambiwa kashekwa akienda ukabila itaisha Kenya yani kashekwa ndio mwanzo wa ukabila Kenya na ndio mwisho wa ukabila wacha kashekwa aende tuone ukabila ikiisha tumeambiwa kashekwa akitoka umalaya itaisha Kenya so wacha kashekwa aende tuone umalaya kama itaisha iko inange street tumeambiwa kashekwa akitoka vitina itaisha vitina itaisha so waje kashekwa atoke tuone kama vitina itaisha what i'm, I'm saying is that kwenda kwa kashekwa kukua impeached kwa kashekwa <coughs> kukua impeached kwa kashekwa ama ku, yeye kutokuwa impeached hakuna kitu inatusaidia sisi sisi watu wa chini it helps us nothing we have nothing to do with kashekwa's impeachment hakuna kitu inatusaidia ile kitu inatusaidia ni shift ile kitu inatusaidia ni ni ni, ni higher education funding model vitu zenye zinatusaidia azishughulikiwe na hao wabunge azishughulikiwe but kama kwenda kwa kashekwa nimesikia speaker ameweka kwa sababu kashekwa amekuwa mgonjwa amekuwa admitted current hospital so my lawyer wa kashekwa akaomba isongeshwe saturday na speaker amesongesha saturday hiyo mjadali inakataliwa they have voted to proceed with the impeachment inaendelea oh thank you thank you thank you for that correction thank you for that correction thank you kashakwa's legal team has so namaliza speaker kusema hivi namaliza kwa kusema impeachment ya kashekwa kama itakuwa mwanzo wa kwenda kwa ruto it will be for, for a benefit as our citizens inafaa kashekwa akitoka hivi mikakati ya kuotoka kutoa ruto kwa constitutionally constitutionally sio nje ya katiba kutoa ruto mikatiba hiyo mikataba hiyo 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 mikakati ianze mara moja hiyo excuse tunaambiwa kila saa kuna IPC hakuna IPC unajua wanatuma maagents watuambia hakuna IPC watukumbusha hakuna IPC ndio waendelee kutunyanyaza but ile kitu mimi nalimaliza kwa kusema namaliza kwa kusema before you swallow and okay measure the diameter of your anus thank you very much very much wananchi power sasa mimi leo sitaongelea mambo ya gashagua sana lakini wacha tuguze tu kidogo mimi kama GNZ nasema wote waende sio mnajua sio story nyingi wote wote ni the same wote ni wezi wote ni tribalist hakuna mwenye akwafadhali hata hao wabunge wote ni the same ni vile sahi hawajafikiwa kama sahi speaker anaongea sana huyu wetangu na huyu kingi kianza kuharamba tutakuwa hapa sababu hii serikali itawageuka tu mimi leo nataka niongelee hii movement tuko nayo ya Gen Z si ndio mtoto tuko nayo saa hii nyi imefanya kazi yenu umetusaidia sana umetukisha hapa lazima tuendeleze hii kazi yenye mlitupea na kwa hii kazi yenye mlitupea kuna challenges mingi kuna wasaliti wengi sana Msaliti wa kwanza wenye amdai kukubaliana mimi alikuwa Casper. Msaliti wa pili mwenye anajua kwa na followers hapa na mta nielewa nikisema ni Morara. Na mtakuja kunikumbuka nikiwaambia. Niliwaambia kuhusu Casper mkakataa. Na sasa hii na waon kuhusu Morara na mtakumbuka. Hatuwezi panga mashujaa de itarembao twende hapa Uhuru Park. Twende tukakumbuke watoto ambao waliuliwa hapa kwa street. Watoto walipoteza maisha yao wakipigania inchi kwa afadhali 
wewe uko hapa leo sababu labda hukufika street ama kwa bahati yako mzuri Mungu aliku, alikuangalia vizuri wewe hukuenda uko na watoto walienda uko na watoto sasa hivi wameshindwa kutembea Hawa watoto tunataka kuwakumbuka mashujaa day tarembao. Hatutapanga kwenda mashujaa mashuja day tarembao hapa Uhuru Park. Mtu ambie watu waende Narok kusafisha Narok. Narok ni biashara yetu haya. Huyu jamaa anatumua na serikali na mtakuja kunikumbuka. Huyu jamaa anatumua na serikali na anatupoteza na mfungue macho kama Gen Z. Si lazima tufuate mtu ndio tukue tuko na movement. Wakati tulienda street nani alikuwa ametupeleka hapo? Tulikuwa leaderless. Sasa hii ndio mnaona mnahitaji viongozi. Hata hao viongozi mnahitaji. Twende tu taratibu, twende tu polepole. Sio kukimbilia watu, mkakimbilia Kasmuel mkaanguka. Sasa mmekimbilia Morara, mtaanguka tu. Mchukua mtu mwingine mwenye amekuja jana, mtaanguka tu. Na sisemi hivyo ati sababu mimi ni mtu niko na hekima mingi ama ni mtu ati niko right kuliko hao wengine. Nasema tu kweli, tuchunguze hao watu biko ukimbilie mtu. Mtu kama ukia mtata nikimalizia amepigania inchi zaidi ya miaka kumi. Huyu ukia mtata amumtaki sababu hana mbwembwe sababu mnasema mnataka mtu wa vitimbi na vipindi hana hizo vipindi mnataka is a truthful man straight to the point anawaambia hapa imeenda hivi hapa imeenda hivi huyo mtata amtaki mnataka morara mnataka kasmwe mtakuja kulia vibaya sana tuanze kuchunguza watu before mkubali mtu muulize huyu alikuwa wapi Huyo Marara alikuwa na kampeni ya Ruto, alikuwa na launch projects na yeye. Saa hii wakati ameona wa Kenya wamekataa Ruto, ndio pia yeye anajitokeza kusema hata mimi nimekataa Ruto. Wezi tuambie huyu ni rafiki yangu saa hii, kesho tuambie tena huyu hata hajai kwa rafiki yangu. Hiyo ni upuzi. Kwani sisi ni watu wenye tunasahau haraka aje. Muchunguze mtu before mchukue mtu. Hata heri kusupport Okio mtata. Uliko kijana amekuja jana, kuja kudanganya na kulagai watu hapa na muulizi ametoka wapi? Kwenye alikuwa ni wapi? Wakati alikuwa anafanya tenda na serikali. Sababu mimi sina information ya kuprove lakini najua huyu kijana amefanya tenda na serikali na sio yeye peke yake. Hata wengi mnaona huku kwa TV. Wamepewa kazi na serikali. Sasa hii wakati watu wamesema serikali ni mbaya. Haizi sema serikali ni mzuri sababu vijana wote wamesema ni mbaya. So pia yeye ana join wenye wanasema serikali ni mbaya. Mchunguze watu kabla mchukue watu. Thank you very much James. Ikuwe brief kidogo. Yes, uh, for the state. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Agai Tenya to those who do not know me. Agai Tenya, I'm the national speaker of Bunge la Wananchi. We had our session and we have uh, uh, discussed into detail uh, the current uh, things happening. The the motion which took place at the, the impeachment motion which took place at the National Assembly and the one which is ongoing at the Senate. And we have analyzed it, its impact to the economy and also the future prospects of politics. One thing we want to say as Kenyans, we need better. Kenyans deserve better. We deserve better roads. We deserve clean drinking water. We deserve hospitals which are working. We deserve a better tax regulations. The current uh, statements on, on uh, the deputy president impeachment has really derailed uh, the operations of this country, socially, economically, and even politically. There is tension all over, and I'm very happy with the Senate. There is no need of adjourning to extend this debate to D. Sisi to receive, to najua, to benefit either directly or indirectly. So, kwa hivyo sisi kama watu wa Western na Nyanza na meno mengine tunaona ya kwamba lazima tu support agenda ya His Excellency William Samuel Ruto so that aweze kufanya nini kuendesha agenda zake William Samuel Ruto ameweza kusanitize na kuonyesha wa Kenya ya kwamba isikuwe ni kwamba ni wakalenjin na wakikuu so that kila kabila zingine ziweze kufaidika mimi nimeona for the first time in history muturukana pia ameweza kukaa kwa cabinet so kwa hivyo ni mtu ambaye amefanya history kubwa sana in fact a woman for the first time in history. So kwa hivyo tunaona kwamba Honorable William Samuel Ruto ile kitu anafanya ni kitu mzuri sana. Hii mambo ingine mi ningependa kutuma warning. Vijana wadogo kutoka Western, vijana wadogo kutoka Nyanza, vijana wadogo kutoka kule Mombasani, sehemu za Wagiriama, kutoka Taita Taveta, kutoka Turukana, kutoka kule Mandera, kutoka kule Garissa, it is high time mu realize kwamba hii Kenya ukabila iwezi isha. Sahi watu wa Mount Kenya wanasimama na gachagwa 
the moment anataka kuanguka chini wanasimama na yeye na hapo nyuma alikuwa anasema ati Kenya tuache ukabila tuwe kitu kimoja saa hii mbona wasiachane na gachagwa the moment watasema gachagwa must go hata mimi kama mtu wa western nitasema then musala must go hapo pia mkalenjini tena atasema pia nyani ukweli ruto must go hapo pia mtu mjaluo pia atasema hapana hizi vitu zenye walipatia na nira ila zianguke chini Kenya tuanze huu Kenya tuanze upya lakini as long as mnatetea gachagwa mimi sitaona aibu kutetea Raila Molo Odinga mimi sitaona aibu kutetea Musaila Mudavadi mimi sitaona aibu kutetea William Samuel Ruto so kwa hivyo sisi tu 